Hi guys, welcome back. This is floss tube number 24. My dogs are barking and my name is Crystal Rowe. This is the newest member of our family, Stormy. She is, we think about three and a half weeks old now. And if you watch my Stitch With Me videos, you've heard the story of Stormy. But those of you who have not watched the Stitch With Me videos, I will um, go ahead and tell you. So on Father's Day, which was this past Sunday, today's Friday, so we've had her since Sunday, my husband took the dogs out. It was, I think about 11, maybe a little bit before 11, so it was pretty late, and she was in our yard. So the whole story about where we think she came from and all that is in the Stitch With Me video, but um, we have adopted her. And, of course, she is not weaned or anything, so I'm feeding her a kitten formula. And she's also eating some wet food, too, um, but she's not off the kitten formula yet. She chewed through the nipples on the nursing bottle, so she is getting syringe fed, which um, took a couple days for her to get used to that, but now she does fine with the syringe. And uh, we love her, so Parker named her Stormy because he said she looks like a storm and it was appropriate because when she showed up in her yard it had been storming that day and she was wet so we are very happy to have her she is keeping me very busy and that's why I didn't get my second stitch with me video done on Wednesday because I'm basically taking care of her all day she's like a little baby I feed her I clean her help her go to the bathroom play with her and then put her down for a nap and when she's down for a nap I try to get stuff done <laughs> And then she wakes up and it starts all over again. <laughs> but uh, we were really happy. She's a tortoise shell. And there's Rosie. Um, she's a tortoise shell. And our cat Kiki is a tortoise shell. Kiki hates her. Kiki wants nothing to do with her. And that makes me really sad because I don't want Kiki to be stressed out. But um, maybe in time they'll get used to each other. But Kiki just doesn't like other cats. So Kiki is about nine years old so there's quite a gap there and we'll see what happens so welcome my new subscribers and if you are watching and you're not subscribed I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe um, about a hundred and twenty ish away from a thousand and once I get to a thousand I will be able to post community posts and I know you can monetize I don't plan to monetize at this time I don't know if YouTube is putting ads on my videos because they can put ads on your videos it, without your choosing. And I have seen ads on videos with people with 50 subscribers. So if you're getting ads, it's not because I monetize. It's because YouTube has put ads on there. But I would love to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, I really want to be able to put community posts on YouTube. That is something that I think is really fun. Especially for people who are not on Instagram so I can post you know more about when I'm gonna do videos or if I miss a video or extra giveaways or anything like that so I'm going to put a needle miner here whoops let me put Stormy down that was my Lori Holt stand that I have my notes on I just knocked it over okay my hair is wet <laughs> Because Parker and I are going to go to the splash pad later. You may hear his music in the background. Hopefully YouTube doesn't pop me for that. I don't think it's copyrighted. It's from his Roblox game. And usually that music is um, okay. But we'll see. Get a drink of tea. And I think that's all. Um... I have been focusing on the same few pieces, so I don't have a ton of stitching to show, but that's okay because I do have Jolly July to go over, and I've been watching the show on Netflix. Um, my husband and I both are binging it, but we're on different episodes. He's actually the one that got me into it. He started watching it. It's called Manifest. Apparently, it was on network TV on NBC, but it just got put on Netflix so people are starting to watch it. He started the first episode. Do you want down? Rosie needs a haircut. She gets really bushy. She's a Yorkie poo and she gets super bushy and 
I literally brush her all the time and you cannot tell. She doesn't have any mats because I brush her all the time, but her hair just gets crazy looking. Anyway, she's over here aggravating the kitten. I'm gonna put the kitten back up here away from Rosie. She goes like this to it all the time. Yeah. So, welcome to the zoo. Uh, anyway, I've lost, I've lost track of what I was saying. Oh, so I've been watching a lot of Manifest, and at first my husband started watching it, and I was like, this is really cheesy. Like, really cheesy. But even though it was cheesy, and there were a lot of crazy plot holes, I got it, I got hooked on it. So, season one and two are on Netflix. I've already watched all of those. And then season three... They made, they made a season three, and you have to watch it on the Peacock app or maybe NBC.com. NBC but the Peacock app is free, so I've started watching season three. My husband's not there yet. He's still on season two. And um, so it's just been nice. It's a nice show to kind of, like, escape for a little bit. It's not too serious, but it's interesting to keep you going to the next episode, so... I read that it was canceled after season three, so we'll see. But anyway, I haven't really been reading much. Just haven't found any books I'm really into. I have a bunch on hold in the library, so maybe when those books come in, I'll get into that. I have not been quilting at all, and I walk by my sewing stuff, and I feel like guilt over that. But I don't know. I just feel like. With cross stitch, I can do it any time, but with quilting, I feel like I have to be, like, really mentally alert so I don't make mistakes, and I just haven't felt that way this week. I haven't felt like that I've had the energy to really focus on all that, so I haven't messed with any of my sewing. Alright, so let's get into the stitching. Well, first I want to go over a couple comments. The first comment I want to go over is, um, Teresa Chuckle. She is so sweet, and she always leaves comments on videos and I've noticed on other floss tubers I, that I watch she leaves comments and those you know your comments really mean a lot to us that we just seeing that you know you're watching and you're enjoying it and I just want to recognize Teresa um I can't remember exactly what she said but I'm gonna post it here um but she did say that she enjoyed enjoyed my floss tubes and thank you Teresa for being so supportive and Candace K left a comment about my bag that I showed, and she said that um, it's not baby sharks, it's magical narwhals, and I love that. They are definitely magical narwhals. Um, that is my autism family bag made by Jasmine Ravenclaw that I showed in my last floss tube. And the other comment was from Christy, and Christy said that I can contact... Um, I think she said dimensions I'll have to post up here and they can give me the DMC substitute for the floss that I'm missing so thank you Chrissy um I will after I get all my Jolly July stuff started I'll make a note of the ones that I'm missing and I will contact them so thank you so much and thank you for all your comments I do read them all I try to heart them all sometimes I click it but I don't click it enough so it may not show that I've read it um but i do appreciate all that okay so i do have some finishes and they are not ironed or anything these are just just finished they're not fully finished because i'm waiting to finish one more whip before i pull out all of my finishing supplies because i that makes a huge mess and i only want to do that one time so my first one is let me see if i need something to put behind this um, I'm just going to use a project bag. My first one is my July calendar crates. And I pushed through, okay, y'all know I'm a huge Juju with the Housewives fan. Got the t-shirt, I mean, I'm a huge fan. I love Priscilla's designs. I love the finish, but as I've said before, this was the whip from H-E Double Hockey Sticks. <sighs> Man. It just had so many little things that I felt like I was losing my mind, but I finally got it done. There's a few mistakes. My stitching is sloppy. Whatever. Who's going to know? Nobody's really going to see this probably but me and my husband and my son. I mean, you know, not, you know, 
I'm not worried about it. It's done. So, I also stitched the small companion piece, Land That I Love. Now, this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this one. This was super fun to stitch, and it was really quick to stitch. And I finished um, Stars and Stripes. And this is the... Um, It's a bonus. I couldn't think of the word. It's a bonus chart with one of the house stitching with the housewives. Um, oh, y'all, this look how sweet. <laughs> Losing my train of thought. I got this warm purring kitten on my chest. Um, I think it's the proud to be American. Proud to be an American, which I didn't stitch. I don't. I don't think I will. I just really wanted to stitch this one. And that's all my finishes. So, the one, um, the whip that I'm waiting to finish so that I can finish all these together is my July Trucking Along. All of these are on 14 count chalkboard black Wichelt Ada with the called for colors. So, I'm almost done with this. I have to put in a little bit more red. I have to finish the red of my flag, and I have to finish um, this chicken and put in my the rest of my green and yellow, and I'll be done. So, I have maybe an hour left on this, and I'll be done. Oh, and I have to put the cat right here, too. So, I'm close to being done with that. Um, no. No. <laughs> she really wants this cat. Um... This is like, anytime she's out, Rosie and Moe's are just like chasing the kitten. That's all they want to do is chase the kitten. No. 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 Okay. No. No. Lay down. Lay down. Alright, sorry. My next whip is my Winter Rose Manor. Sorry about the glare. By Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread and this is my 25 7 project 25 minutes a day seven days a week and this is also what I work on on my stitch with me videos and I have finished the fence and I have started putting in these trees shrubs bushes whatever you want to call them so I've added these four right here so that's what I've got done on that that's on 25 count prim by Lori Holt, Lugana. My next whip is, I worked just a little bit on this because I really, like 90% of the time was working on those Stitching with the Housewives patterns to get those done so that I can finish them and get them up in my house for the 4th of July. And July in general. And my zipper's stuck on this bag. So this is um, the last time I showed this. I had just reach, reached the halfway point, which was basically right here after that cat. And so I have put in, started up in the cauldron, started the tree with the owl, and I have the the dress, hat, and shoes of the witch. So I love this. Um, I probably won't stitch on it anymore until after Jolly July. But you never know. I might take a notion to work on it. I'm not, I'm never 100% set on anything. I'm very, very fluid. That zipper is really giving me hits. Roro. Excuse me. No. You can't have the kitten. No. Alright. Lay down. Okay. So, those are all my whips. And... Now, I'm going to talk about Jolly July. I have my projects picked out that I want to start. So, any of this can change. I know y'all don't care if I change or not. I just want to go over what I'm doing. So, um, the first one is... Oh, I have one more whip to talk about. Sorry. The reason I want to talk about this is... Uh, this was my cross-stitch camp piece. And it's uh, Lindy Stitches. Stretching in the Daisies. 
And I was supposed to have this done by June 30th to post. And I started it on this 32 count buffalo check. But Candace started and finished this at StitchCon. Candace K, and I'll link her Flossy channel. And she used the called for colors. And this is a DMC. It's, you can barely see it because I've only got a few lines in there. It's, it's just a... It's color 729. It's, it's kind of a gold color. And she used the called for Weeks Dye Works Amber. And it looks so good. The variegation looks amazing on that cat. So, I'm not going to continue with this until I get that amber color. So, I will not be completing my cross stitch camp June piece. Which makes me sad because I really wanted to do all three months so that I could enter for the grand prize or whatever. But, you know, I would rather do it right in the way that's going to make me happy. And when I saw Candace's, I was like, oh, that looks really good, but I've already started it in 729. But then I started thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I love the series. I plan on stitching all four. I'm just going to wait and get that color and... um do that variegated cat because it is gorgeous and check out candace's latest video to see her finish it looks amazing okay so now on to jolly july so first i'm going to go over new starts and then whips so my first new start which i had already talked about last week because it was part of my haul is and to all a good night by stitching with the housewives I actually have, I have to get it out of sto my storage tote, but I have a board like this that I have bought on clearance from Walmart that it may fit in. It actually is a Christmas piece, but it just has a little piece of leather here that has a saying. And I bought it for finishing, so I'm hoping it will fit this, because that would be perfect. But um, I'm going to do this with the called for colors and on 14 count chalkboard black. So that will be a new start. My next new star is going to be, um, this is Country Cottage Needleworks chart 142. I call it Ho 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 and away we go because that's what it says. I won this as a giveaway from Candace from her channel. She had a, it was either like a one year floss tube anniversary or a thousand subscriber giveaway. And I won that and I was really excited because I've wanted to stitch this ever since I saw it. Um, on the fat quarter shot floss too when I got back into stitching. So that'll be another start. My third new start is I went on Etsy and I just wanted to look for some ornaments that maybe I've never seen before. So I just searched Christmas ornament cross stitch patterns on Etsy and this came up and I fell in love with it. It is the nativity, uh, it's Mary Joseph and baby Jesus and it's in a heart and it's called um nacimiento 2 and i googled that and that means birth in spanish so there's a there's a one nacimiento 1 and please don't make fun of my accent with spanish <laughs> listen when i was in college i wanted to be this is totally going off track I wanted to be a foreign service officer. I wanted to work in the U.S. embassies in other countries. So I took, oh, I took Spanish in high school. I took Spanish. I tried German. I tried French. And every foreign, hey, you petting Sweetie? You want to say hi? Look. You want to get on camera? Wait, pair with your uh, left arm. So she gets double pet. Yes. Uh oh. That was hilarious. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Don't restart every time you mess up something. I'm not restarting. I can edit it. I just. Gotta... I know. Hang on, hang on. When you hit the table, it it falls over. Wait. Do it with this arm. With this one. <laughs> All right. I gotta fix my camera. It's <laughs> wonky. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, the whole thing got knocked over. Plus, my tripod ring light is messed up because my husband borrowed it. 
and it's it's different from the way that I use it. So anyway, um, my story was all the foreign languages I tried. The where I would slip up was the conversation part because of my accent. I tried so hard to get rid of my accent in class and it was 10 times, probably 20 times thicker than what it is now. People literally couldn't understand me. My hillbilly accent was so strong. And I stood up in a German class one time to give a presentation and the whole class laughed at me. I thought I was so mortified, y'all. Laughed at me. Here I was, like 18 years old, country bumpkin, and they just laughed and laughed and laughed. I mean, when I did my study abroad in China, like, you know, I would learn some Mandarin and it sounded absolutely ridiculous. So, it's the curse of, you know, curse of my accent. I just, anyway. So please don't laugh at my nasi nasi miento. <laughs> it's just it's hard. It's hard getting rid of that accent. Okay, so anyway, but when I I was looking at this, it was really cheap, and I looked, and it was like every single pattern was fifty percent off. So I was like, okay. So I started looking at some of the other patterns, um, and it's from the Stitch Patterns on Etsy. And well, and they say their website's at stitchpatterns.com, but I haven't been to the website. But every single pattern they had was 50% off. Then, they had pattern packs for 50% off. So, they had, you could get every single pattern in their shop for like, I think, 40 or $50. But, you could get every single Christmas ornament or Christmas design pattern for $20 all in one bundle. So, I just bought the whole bundle. So, there are a ton of of really cool Christmas patterns. I'm going to insert some pictures here of the cool patterns. And there's one like this, but it's a circle, and I really like that one too. So, um, and so many of those would make great gifts. So I'm gonna, I haven't even looked at all of them because I looked at a lot of them, but I didn't look at every single pattern that was in that bundle. But there are, there are a lot of good ones. So, I don't know if they still are having that sale, but that was a really good sale because they have some really, really, really cute things. And I, I love that one. So, that's my other new start. Okay, so now to whips. The first one is one that I talk about all the time. I'm just going to bring this down here since you just laid on me. Um, and that is my Santa's Village. So, I still had to finish ripping out my house. Um, but I'm just going to continue working on this. I may make this my 25-7 for the month of July. I may stop on Winter Rose Manor and work on this. I'm not sure about that because I'm making good progress on Winter Rose Manor. But I think probably the best way to tackle Santa's Village to, to make it for lost time is to make it my 25-7. So, I'm going to think about that. The next one is Stitching with the Housewives. Rosie's just dying to get to that cat. And it is Rudolph and Mr. Claus. And I worked on this during March Madness. So last time I picked this up. So this is what I have done. So that's that's going in my Jolly July rotation because I really want to get that one. Um, make some progress on that one. I'm just putting everything back in their bags so that I don't make a mess. The next one, it's ridiculous how much is left on this. Ridiculous. This is it's called it's from Pine Needles and it was a free pattern at Christmas and it was an advent. And I'm not sure the name. What I have wrote down is Christmas Boxes so Stitch Along. And literally, I have everything done except for um, half of the border from here. See the white stitching around the border? I have to finish from here, around here, to here. That's it. It'll be done. 
So, why I left that and didn't finish it, I don't know. I got lazy. Rosie, really? She said on my stitching. Okay. The next one is the one I talked about on my stick with me, and I showed it last week, and that is the Dimensions ornament, and it's this one right here. It's the um, Victorian house with Santa on the roof and the people out front, which is kind of funny because you think, do they not see Santa on the roof? So, it, I actually think it would be cuter if it didn't have people out front. But I'm not going to mess with fixing that. Because I'm kind of like... Okay, when Santa's out, everybody's in bed. They're not out front of their house. But, you know. Semantics. The next one is my... Ooh, I just got poked by a needle. It's one of these gingham on the go bags with holes in them. That is my Appalachian Santa's Allegheny Santa Mill Hill Kit. So, I want to do all three of these. There's also the Smoky Mountain Christmas, Smoky Mountain Santa and um, Blue Ridge Santa. So, all I have done on this is I just have a little start on the white. So, that's definitely going to my whips for Jolly July. And I have this one that I pulled, but I don't know, I don't know if I'm actually going to work on it, but I did pull it to think about it, and it is, what out, Hands on Design Holly Jolly Farm, and made by, Mel, made by Michelle McGraw has been taking charts like this that are big, and she's been making smalls out of it. But when I look at this one, I don't really see anything I want to make a small out of. Um, and I really like it. I just don't know if I want to work on it yet. But I did pull it. I have a tiny start on this. I'll have to look and see. There may even be a mistake. Who knows. But I just started on the border. And this is on 14 count black. Not chalkboard black. black. And looking at this, I like that. I kind of miss stitching on the black black. It really pops. So I may start doing some of my housewives on the black. And it's cheap at Hobby Lobby. I think it's $4.99. If you guys have seen the cross stitch fabric on sale at Hobby Lobby since they have gotten rid of the coupons, please leave a comment below because now, I haven't been checking. I just look when I go in there. But I haven't been keeping up with it. Like, I haven't been checking online. But if you have seen it go on sale, please let me know. Because if it does, I will wait until they run a sale before I buy any fabric over there. Um, Because that's, you know... I, I know everybody's lamenting about these coupons. It's just really hard because... Some of the stuff, it seems like it never goes on sale. And that's really how I got a lot of my things that were higher priced. Um, was using that coupon. So, it's frustrating because I don't have a Michaels anymore. My Michaels shut down. And I like Michaels because I we were able to use our homeschool IDs because we're members of a homeschool association. And I saved... And I think it's an extra 15%. Um, so even if something wasn't on sale, I could get 15% off my DMC. So my DMC there was, I think I paid 47 or 49 cents a skein at Michael's, but they closed. Um, I think that's it that I have pulled for Jolly July. Um, there may be some other things come up. I know Stitching with the Housewives is going to release their weekly patterns. I know other designers may be releasing things for Jolly July. At this time, I probably wouldn't do any of those in July. I would just wait and buy them later because I have plenty, plenty that I want to do. And I have three or four other whips 
for Christmas that I didn't pull that I may take a notion and work on. But what I showed you is what my current plans are. And for wish list, I have one pattern that I saw. And that is, well, actually there's two. Um, Wild Cyrus Naps released a new sampler and it's called, it's Matilda's. And I can't think of the whole name. I will put it down here. But I love it. I've been watching her update about this sampler for a while. And the history behind it is so special. So I really love that sampler. That's on my wish list. It's not anything I could get to right now. But I do have plans to buy that and kit it up. And that's something that would take me forever to stitch. But I really, really love it. And the other one that showed up in, on Instagram that blew my mind was... Owl Forest Embroidery released a pattern, I think it's new, called Snail Houses. Now, I never dreamed that I would see a pattern with a big old snail and think, how cute. But it is. It is precious. It's these, I think, three or four snails with their houses. It is stinking cute. So, I love it. I would love to stitch at least one of those little snail houses. They're, they're so, so, so cute. And, of course, I've seen a lot of other things, but those, those two were the things that really struck me. But there's so many beautiful patterns, and, you know, the designers are always releasing awesome stuff. I'm trying to learn how to really limit myself to what I actually think I can... That when I actually get it that I want to get it up to you. And I have several charts from Expo that I love and I don't I don't have fabric for, I don't have floss for. So um, you know, I'm just trying to get to those. So the one thing for Jolly July that I want to stitch during July that's not Christmas is my August calendar crate. I don't, I really want to keep, try to keep up with those. I don't think the August calendar crate is going to be as tedious as July. It looks like a completely different type of pattern with bigger motifs and chunkier blocks to stitch. So, I don't think that's going to take as much time. So, when I get sick of Christmas, I will pull that out. Another one that I want to work on is my Barbara Anna's Mystery Sal up in the air. That's the one that I had started doing a time lapse video on. And I have, because I was focused on my seasonal stitching, I have not gotten to work on that. So we'll see. I may let it go for July and pick it up in August. Or I may take a notion and work on it. So we'll see. But this, this little girl is keeping me busy. She's so sleepy because I fed her. Oh, she's purring. I fed, I fed her before the video. Um, my dogs have not been getting attention. They just haven't. I'm like, I just can't love on them the way that I normally, lo normally love on them. And I feel so bad because you can tell. They are so like sad and, and sulky. But the good news is... When she gets past the stage of me syringe feeding her and needing to keep her warm, I keep I have a heating pad and things like that in her crate. Um, I'll be able to get back and love on my dog some more. So they're fine. They're just not getting lavished with attention like they normally do. Um, so my plans is just to uh, oh, I have stitchy kindness. Um. I want, well, since you kind of slash haul, I want a giveaway from Mandy and Megan, who are sisters, and they both have uh, really good flossy channels. Uh, Homegrown and Handmade is Mandy's, and the Gym Stitchery is Megan's. And I won the giveaway for a 14 count chalkboard black Ada. Um, hello, I use that on everything. So that was awesome. And also, they were so sweet. The person who won, um, their other giveaway did not contact them, so they sent me that too. And that is Lizzie Kate's Mary Making Mini Tree. Now, I didn't even think that I could stitch this for Jolly July too. Um, and it has it has beads. 
So I may add that. If I can't get to it, I will stitch it another month, but that will make a great ornament, either as a gift. Actually, this would make a really cute gift tag that you could also gift as an ornament. So the finishing on the back, I could put like who it was to and stuff because I have a I have some friends that every year I try to make them an ornament um, whether it's you know sewn hand made or whatever so that would be cute alright so thank you guys for for um, sending me that bonus with the giveaway I really appreciate you guys doing the giveaway and I think that's it I don't have anything else Hopefully next week I will have a bunch of patriotic finishes to show you um, and update on Missy here. So we're going to try to go to the splash pad tomorrow. This weekend is our town's uh, 4th of July celebration. It It's the weekend before 4th of July, but that's just scheduling issues. So we have a um, carnival music craft fair and all that so in fireworks tomorrow night saturday night and the fireworks um are like right here so we can see them really well so that's we'll be doing some of that and um we don't go to the main event it's like a block and a half from our house or two blocks from our house so it's it's not far but it's super, super crowded in the evening and at night, so we don't go with Parker because it's just too much going on. But they have their rides like all day, and the parade is tomorrow, so my husband will be in the parade, so Parker and I will walk over, um, walk over across the street from our house and um, watch him in the parade, and then we, we might go over there and he can ride some rides. He likes to ride like some of the easier rides and get a snow cone, so. <laughs> And I like the funnel cakes. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great weekend. And that's it. Oh, giveaway winner. Oh, y'all watch your lake. What about the giveaway? I'm so sorry. And I had that in my notes to do first thing. Um, so the giveaway winner for the floss uh, is Michelle Daybar Delibin. <laughs> I hope I said your name correctly. So Michelle send me a message with your address either at crystalrow at gmail.com or at crystalrow on Instagram. My information is in the description box and so I can get that out to you. I don't have a giveaway this week. I do apologize for that but hopefully next time I will have a giveaway for you guys. So have a great weekend. Bye.